Hey guys, this is uh, this is Wraiths, um, bringing you part four of the uh, Hunt from Scratch uh, video tutorial series. Uh, I apologize for the the delay. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Popped up my microphone. I apologize for the delay on release. Uh, something came up yesterday and it prevented me from getting here, but I promise I will make it up to you guys. So, um, with that out of the way, let's dig into the lesson for today. So. Um, I think the best way to approach the lesson for today is to look at all of the stuff we've already done and see what chronologically would be the next thing, right? So we've covered font installation, you guys have all installed your first font, you've made your first HUD edit, you've committed at least your first um, push to GitHub, hopefully you committed the second one after you installed the fonts as well um, to GitHub, and um, then you've already downloaded all the, the cool tools and stuff that I told you to get. So it would only make sense now that we actually dig into the HUD editing itself. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and do that today. We're going to do the basic positioning of your health and ammo. We're not going to go too in-depth on those yet. That'll probably be uh, in a few videos from now. Uh, maybe next one, I don't know. Um, but we need to get them in at least the uh, the right area of the screen, right? Because um, where we have the health right now, it's in the upper left-hand corner. And um, regardless of what you do to your health, you're not going to want the health to be there, right? That's not practical. So we're going to move the panel that involves uh, health, and we're going to move the panel that involves ammo, and we're going to put them in the general area that we'd like on the screen to um, set up in the future a, uh, a, a, I guess, an easier to edit HUD. So to do that, I need to first give you guys the definition of what a panel is, and uh, some of you might already know. If you don't, then um, it's really important you pay attention to this. Um, if you don't understand the concept, that's all right. This is going to be a really crudely drawn thing in Microsoft Paint anyways. However, um, on the off chance that um, it is not clear enough for you, um, then I will, like, if, if, if everything at the end of this video is still really, really confusing, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and make another one um, talking about frames specifically. So anyways, um, I think the best way to describe frames and talk about what they do is to look at an example. So let's use the health cross example. So we're going to draw a health cross on the screen here. This is the thing that we moved in. It was either tutorial video like one or two. I can't remember, but it was it was like a, a week or two ago from um, when I'm making this video. And um, you'll notice that whenever you edited the X and Y position, not only did you move the health cross, you, you moved the health cross, you moved the background that was behind the health cross, um, you moved the numbers that were inside of the health cross, so the 125 health. And then, you may not know this because uh, I don't know how much you guys played around with this, but you also moved that little buff thing, like the little thing when you get a buff and it makes like the little cross come up around, uh, you know. You moved that as well, and all of those things stayed intact in the exact same position that they were before. However, you moved them all as a group across the screen. Um, so the reason that you were able to do that is because when you edited the X and Y position of the HUD element, you didn't edit the X and Y position of each individual thing here. You edited the X and Y position of this unseen thing that goes around the outside called a panel. Sometimes I'll also call it a, um, God, what do I call it? Uh, I call it something else too, um, but, <laughs> but the name escapes me at the moment. Uh, if I remember, I'll bring it up later in the video, but um, for now we're just going to call it a panel. And um, what you did was, instead of moving all of these individually, you edited the X and Y position of a panel, and because all of these things were contained within that panel, they were all able to also get transported with it. So, um, to kind of explain that further, I'm, I'm going to try to draw this three-dimensional thing. It's going to be really crudely drawn, so bear with me. So we've got our Y position, our vertical axes, our X, our horizontal, and then our Z, which is our, our third dimension, per se. So let's go ahead and draw this panel right here. Like We're going we're gonna to transpose this picture over here. Um, so the first thing that we need to draw is we need to draw this uh, this frame. And as you can see, it's it's just flush on the on the ground. Um, however, the first thing that we do is we'll put the cross back on top. I know this is going to be really really terribly drawn. Just pretend, <laughs> pretend that's a cross, right? And um, then all of the all of the the health stuff goes inside of it. So then you've got like your other health cross thing. Uh, this is really bad. I'm sorry. And then. I <laughs> your health numbers and all that jazz, uh, but pretend them as, as if they were all laying on top of this panel in, in like a third dimension, you know? So like the panels, the base, and everything else just stacks up on top, kind of like a sandwich on a plate, for example. If you move the plate um, and the sandwich is still on the plate, then the sandwich will move alongside the plate. So um, by pushing this panel or frame um, 
a different direction on the screen, you know, whether it be up or whether it be like, you know, this way or, or down or whatever, you're able to move the entire thing. And so you've already been editing panels before you guys even knew it, you know, changing positions and whatnot, but this, this uh, hopefully will provide maybe a little bit better of an explanation. If it doesn't, again, leave a comment and I'll try to go more into detail in the future as to what panels are. Now, I, I want to cover this right now because when you get into positioning stuff, um, you're able to position panels, but then you can also position things inside of panels, and the positioning inside of the panels is relative to the panel's original position. And that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but basically what I'm saying is, if you adjust the X and Y position of this health cross, it's not adjusting the X and Y position of the health cross in accordance to the entire screen. So like, for example, if this were your screen, and you had your little panel with your health right here, and you had a health cross right here, and you change the X and Y positions of your health cross to zero, instead of putting it up here where you might think it would be, uh, you know, because the X, y, the X and Y position are at zero, you know, there's no vertical distance and there's no horizontal distance, it would actually appear right here. Um, and the reason it would do that is because when you edit the positioning of a specific HUD element within a frame, then its X and Y positions are relative to that frame. And again, that's really confusing. We'll, we'll go more into detail um, on that whenever I'm actually, when we're actually doing the customization of our, our health and ammo, but um, that's just kind of, I guess, a preview for what you, you can look forward to in the future. Um, so that being said, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and save this. We'll just go ahead and close that picture. Let's uh, dig into our HUD editing for today. So while this is opening, um, I know when you guys may have uh, skimmed through the files, you noticed a few things. You might have noticed um, how on the X and Y positions of certain HUD elements, they, wer they weren't just numbers. You know, In fact, even in that first one that we made where we uh, changed the position of the health value, um, there was actually, like I believe, is either a C or an R in front of the number. And... Um, those things have specific meanings, and we're actually going to cover that today. Um, but while the map's loading in here, I can kind of uh, at least tell you what the names are. So if there's a C in front of a number, it corresponds with the term center, which means that specific um, position, whether it be your X or Y, um, it, it, it's positioning the HUD element that you're messing with on your screen relative to the center. Um, now, I can't say the center of the screen because, like I was just going over with that uh, health cross thing, if you use the C values inside of a frame, instead of centering it on the screen, it centers it uh, relative to that particular frame, I believe. I, I, we'll have to do guess and check there. I'm pretty sure that's, that's correct, though. But, uh, again, that's not something until we get uh, on down the road, so we don't have to worry about that right now. We're just getting our base position again. Um, oh, Okay. Um, yeah, oh, what is this? Alright, so we're in our game, and uh, as you'll remember, the health is in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, you know, up here, and um, that's pretty much where we left it. You know, we're like, okay, this is good, we made our edit, let's send it out to the world. Um, but now, you know, obviously that's not practical, because with the health up in that position, you know, what can you do? You can't do very much, right? So in order to uh, change that, we're going to edit the panel that contains health cross. So you need to navigate to your HUD directory. Uh, I open that, that guy up again. Oh, all right, having some issues here. All right, so now <laughs> we're going to navigate to our HUD directory, um, which is, you know, TF Custom and then TF2 Custom HUD. And the two files we're going to be working with today are HUDLayout.res. So we're going to finally get our feet with, wet with that. And HUDPlayerHealth.res. Now the reason that we have to, we have to uh, edit HUDPlayerHealth even though we're not going super in detail with HUD player health, is um, I, I'm going to call it a boo-boo. Valve might have had a reason for doing it, but it's really confusing if you're trying to edit HUDs for the first time. Um, basically, all of these values in, in uh, HUD layout.res, they correspond to specific panels, right? You know, HUD weapon ammo corresponds to the panel that controls the ammo, which we're going to get to uh, very shortly. And, uh, you know, HUD objective status corresponds to the, the timer up at the top of the screen. And, like, all of these are HUD elements, and you can move the position of them just by editing the X and the Y position. And, um, y okay, you, you might think, all right, well, then we'll just search for health. But you'll see that whenever we do a quick search for health, oh, well, that's HUD boss health. HUD boss health. Um, that's the only thing we find. Uh, well, we do find health, health account panel, but that's, that's unrelated. We'll get to that. Nothing relevant to the HUD player health, right? And the reason, the reason that that is is because um, uh, Valve did a silly thing, and they actually contained the information involving the HUD Player Health panel within the file of HUD Player Health uh, .res itself. Um, so if you're ever looking to try to reposition the, uh, the panel of something, and you can't find it in HUD Layout .res, 
I'd recommend you scan the files, and a good indicator as to whether or not that's actually the panel control is you'll see here the title of this line of code, HUD Player Health, and the field name of this section of code corresponds directly with the file name. See, HUD Player Health res and HUD Player Health or and HUD Player Health, and um, that's a good indicator that you're going to be editing the panel. Um, so now that we've identified our two panels, HUD Player Health and uh, let me scroll back up here, HUD Weapon Ammo. Let's actually do our positioning. Um, so since this is the first time we've looked at all this stuff, I'll, I'll try to kind of break it down for you and uh, explain what I can um, about each individual variable here. But I'll keep it brief because, uh, of course, this this uh, particular tutorial isn't for me to lecture you on what all the variables mean. It's to simply go over how to uh, go over basic positioning. So the first thing up at the top, control name. Um, you'll see it's it's given a value of editable panel, and again, that's even more proof that you're in the right direction, right? If you if if the field name or not the field name, the control name of the uh, section of code you're working with is an editable panel, it's pretty much telling you, hey, you're going to be moving a whole bunch of stuff if you move me. And that's okay, because that's what we want to do. Um, the field name simply corresponds with uh, the, uh, the the section of code at the top. And it's important that this match this value up at the top, because if you have separate names here, like this would be like HUD Player Health, a ASDF, whatever, and then this is still HUD Player Health, it may work. Like, it, it might work. I'm not going to tell you that it's not going to work if you do that. But um, there's a chance that... Um, the uh, the code here might not make the connect to work with or correspond with this particular element. You know, these are kind of like uh, guys that greet each other. By having the name at the top match the field name, it's pretty much like two guys shaking hands and one of them saying, all right, you can come in here, you can access my code. And while sometimes you don't always have to shake someone's hand to get their permission to do things, it's generally a good idea and a good practice to have them match. And again, that'll become more of an issue on down the road when you start creating HUD elements of your own, you know, adding background to text and things like that. Um, you'll, know, you'll notice that if you don't change the field name and you actually have two of these field names and these sections of code matching one of these names up at the top, it'll do some crazy stuff. But uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that one once we actually start editing our, our health and ammo, and so that'll probably be uh, next lesson. Um, but going back up to the top here, X position, Y position, those correspond with... Uh, of course, the vertical and horizontal position on the screen. Um, Z position deals with uh, it deals with uh, how high up on the screen it is. So let's go back to this hypothetical drawing we did here in Paint. Um, in order for these elements to, to to fit on top of each other the way they do, the uh, the numerical value must have a higher Z position than the cross. The cross must have a higher Z position than this uh, than this background. And and you know and so on and so forth. So basically, the Z position just basically means how it stacks up against other elements on the actual screen itself. Um, and since we're just moving panels, that won't have a lot of relevance right now. And I know I keep saying that, but you, we just need to take things thing, these things slow. So we'll we'll get into that. That'll also be covered um, whenever we go over the whole field name fiasco. Um, white and tall values uh, they correspond to depending on what you're editing. They correspond to the size or the uh, the amount of room you're allowed to do things. Now, this is going to be a good intro into this nifty tool I'm going to show you guys, right? So, since we're editing the wide and tall values of a panel, it basically means that, okay, there's a, an invisible rectangular um, panel that surrounds this health cross and this, this number and this health cross background that I'm allowed to move certain HUD elements. And um, there's actually a really nifty tool that you can use to actually visualize that that frame and, and, and actually get it set in stone so you can see what it is exactly you're working with. And we're going to be using this tool, uh, I'm not going to say quite a bit, but it'll, it'll come up, so it's good to learn how to use this now. So in order to use this tool, first thing you need to do is you need to go to SV Cheats and a local server, of course, and change that to 1. And then once that's done, you'll see in the chat it pops up, you're going to want to type VGUI underscore draw tree 1. And when you do that, there'll be this thing that appears in the right-hand side, and there's, got a lot of, there's going to be a lot of buttons and stuff, and it might be a little confusing um, and overwhelming. I know when I first used it, I was overwhelmed, but that's okay. Um, the only thing you need to pay attention to is this guy right here, Matt System Top Panel. And basically what this is, is as I'm clicking through these, uh, next you get a static panel, and then static client DLL panel, is it, it's a direct connection with all of your HUD elements that are currently on the screen and by highlighting a simple option up here at the top, highlight selected, we're easily able to see 
exactly the positioning of the frames of all of our, our HUD elements that are currently present. So it's a really, really useful tool. If you ever run into any positioning or uh, errors or anything like that to, to getting your, your bugs worked out. Um, so anyways, once you open this up, you're going to click on the plus on Matt System Top Panel, Static Panel, Static Client, DLL Panel, TF Root Panel, C Base Viewport, and um, then since we're dealing with health, you know, where, where could that be on the screen, right? Well, you know, that has something to do with the player status, so we'll click HUD player status, and boom, you'll see HUD player health. And right when I click on this, you'll see that this, this red rectangular box um, it shows up on the screen, assuming you have highlight selected, checked. And this box right here is that frame we were talking about, that one that you guys actually moved in the first tutorial. You, you mo by moving this entire frame, all of the things that are on top of that frame, or within that frame, depending on how you look at it, get transported along with it, right? So to do kind of a, a quick experiment, and just to, sh to prove it to you guys, we're actually going to cut the width of this in half, which should, assuming we do everything correctly, um, come right about here. So it should either cut off the tip of this cross or come really, really close to it. And uh, so by, by editing this value, cutting it in half, saving the file, then doing a HUD reload scheme in console. Um, oh, let me go through this again. It makes you do this every time you do that. Um, you'll see, boom, right? The health is starting to get cut off on the right-hand side, and that's because we successfully cut our panel in half. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back, but um, on down the road, if you're ever editing your HUD and stuff starts to get cut off, it's typically because you're moving it outside of the panel. So your best, uh, or my best advice to you would be to you know, go into a local server, open up the uh, VGUI underscore tree, take a look at, at your specific cut element, and then see what's going wrong, right? So let's let's go ahead and fix this. Whoop. All right, so then our health cross back, and we're going to start doing the positioning. So um, typically, whenever I, I think of positioning on, on, on like a, uh, a HUD, I want it to be close enough that it's it's like near the action, it's near the crosshair, so I can see what's going on, but not like right on top of it, so it's not all crowded. So um, I personally am going to move it, I think, right down about here. Um, on my actual HUD, some of you may have used it before, or at least seen it, I had it higher up, and uh, that that's fine and good, but some people consider that to be kind of like a, you know, uh, it's a little too close, a little too cluttered, so um, for this tutorial we're going to move it down here, which is really similar to where PV HUD moves their things. So to do that, obviously, we're going to have to be editing our X and our Y position. But uh, how are we going to do it? So we could we could simply just move it with numbers, right? So we can make this like 300, we can make this like 100. And then, of course, oh, we don't need this, we'll close this. We'll do our HUD reload scheme, and you'll see it's like way down on the screen, and then we can like adjust it a little more, so we can make it like 150. And we can make it like, I don't know, 350. Oh, not, not 30, 350 and save, and then we do our HUD reload scheme, and by the way, if you don't have HUD underscore reload scheme bound to a key, you might want to get on that, because these edits that we're doing now are going to be really, really guess and, check, guess and check intensive, and if you don't have that bound to a key, it's going to be a pain for you to have to, to have to keep opening up console and hitting the button and doing it again. So anyways, we make our adjustment, and you're like, oh, that looks pretty good, right? Uh, so we'll just leave it there. Um, and the only problem with that is that because we didn't position it in a dynamic sense, which I'll, I'll cover what that means in a second, instead did it in a static sense, it means that regardless of what resolution someone's playing on, that's where it's going to be on the, on the game screen. It's going to always be exactly right there, which definitely has its uses, but if we're trying to create a HUD that multiple like resolutions are going to be playing on, that's typically not the best way, because uh, let's, let's assume we decided to instead put the health um, way over here, on the left-hand side of the screen, and then we made our HUD on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is widescreen, and then someone with a 4 by 3, uh, 4 by 3, um, decided to come in and try to play the game. Well, you know, the first thing that they have to realize is that they're going to they're going to have less room on the sides to work with. So if you hard coded your your cross right like here, and then you you change your at your aspect ratio to 4 by 3, then Pretty much all of this area over here gets cut off, and all of this area over here gets cut off. So your health would be successfully like taken out of commission, and uh, that wouldn't be good at all. So in order to do the positioning, we're going to use something called a C value. And I mentioned it briefly, but simply all you have to do is by adding the letter C, lowercase c, in front of your X position and your Y position, it actually allows you to position 
that particular HUD element relative to uh, the middle of the screen, right? So if I were to just do the term 00, zero uh, C0, zero, C0 zero rather, um, it'll look like when I do a HUD reload scheme that the health will be on the right side, or right hand side of the screen like that, right? However, if we reference our VGUI underscore draw tree, I'm just going to call it the, the tree, um, and we have highlight selected and we go to look at our health, you'll see that it the the corner of this literally lines up exactly exactly with the center of the screen. And so typically if you really want to put something right in the middle, you kind of have to split the uh you kind of have to split the um these numbers in half depending on like their height and width. So like for example, if we wanted this to be in the middle of the screen, we would use a negative 125, right? Because the width is 250 and half of 250 is 125. So that should put um, our, our HUD panel right here with the middle being intersected by the crosshair. And then um, we'll change our C values to, uh, I guess, negative 60. And I, I know what you're thinking, right? Why are we using negative values? Well, the reason we're doing that is because C0 corresponds with this bottom right hand corner of of the screen right so like for example if um you were to take like this frame w that we were talking about earlier where the health was in the upper left hand corner but then shift everything down so it was right here then anything that had a uh, positive value for both the x and the y positions on the coordinate plane would end up here but we don't want that, right? We want it to be over here, over here, maybe even up here. And so in order to do that, we have to use the power of negative values. So again, if I do a HUD reload scheme, then um, it should be like right there, right? And we'll see upon opening up our draw tree um, that the HUD player health is now literally exactly on top of the crosshair, right? So um, I, I'm only fairly good at positioning because I've done it for quite a while at this point, and so I, I kind of know how to like eyeball stuff until where it needs to be. So don't don't feel like upset if you're struggling or you're you're ta having to take extra time to do all this stuff. That's that's good. That means you're learning, okay? And and you will improve, I promise, right? So, anyways, let's go ahead and get this in a position relative to. Uh, let's get this in a position relative to um, this lower left hand section right here. Now, again, remember. Right, this health cross doesn't have to be perfectly, like right in the middle here, because because we're moving the entire panel. As long as the entire panel is in this particular area, we'll have the flexibility to go in later and tighten up the uh, coordinates and make it more precise and close to what we want. So let's see what would be a good value for that. Um, obviously, since it's below the crosshair, this is good rule of thumb, guys. If it's below the crosshair, you know the y position when you're using C values is going to be positive. Right, so um, halfway to the bottom of the screen, I'd say it would probably be maybe 150. And then, since it's going to be on the left-hand side of the screen, if you if you want anything to ever be on the left-hand side of the screen, um, then you have to give a negative C value for the X position. So, um, if 125 got us to 125 got us to about here, we just need to move it over like probably 100 more. So we'll make 225. We'll do our HUD reload scheme and see what we're looking at. And uh, let me again check the tree. Uh, again, this stuff doesn't have to be perfectly precise, but it is helpful for um, getting your positioning right on, on mark. Alright, so I was actually pretty much right on par. Like, I was perfect with the health somehow. I don't <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Um, but then uh, the X position is a little bit off. So let's shift it over a little bit more. Maybe I'd say uh, 50. So we'll make that negative 225 to negative 275. We'll do our HUD reload scheme. And there we go. Right where we want it. So that's cool. We're already we're already taking steps forward into um, making our HUD unique and on our own. Uh, so now that we've got the uh, the health moved, we can move right on to the ammo. And I'm going to be a little more brief here because it's pretty much the exact same method. The only difference is that you're editing the uh, the 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 positioning of this ammo frame within the file hudlayout.res. So in order to edit the ammo, I already said it. So I'm not going to even ask you guys like this is some sort of pop quiz, but you find HUD weapon ammo in your HUD layout.res, and um, then it, it works pretty much the same as before. Now, you can ignore, actually first things first, let's get rid of these min mode things. They will come in handy on down the road, but uh, depending on what state you have your HUD in, 
Uh, it could definitely be confusing. You know, you can make your edits and they might not work the way you want to. So just get rid of those for now. We'll come back to those later. And again, we're left with the X and Y position. Oh, we can get rid of these two because those deal with the Xbox 360. I'll try to explain that more in a future video, um, but right now we're just trying to get our first positioning moves out of the way. So, yeah, get rid of that. Now you're left with just an X position and a Y position. Um, now you'll see that these R's are right here. These R's are like in front of the uh, in front of the uh, the numbers, and you're like, okay, well I know what C's are. Well, what are the what are the R's? The R's stand for reverse. Um, at least I that's that's what I'm gonna call them. Um, if you've looked in Flames HUD guide before, I believe he calls the R values the right values, um, and by that he means everything's from the right hand side of the screen. But I don't like that term because you can also have negative or sorry um, R values that are on the y position and it doesn't make sense to call them right values if they're you know you're dealing with up and down like what is right right so um, basically what an r value is is it's the exact opposite of not having anything at all and what I mean by that is by default if you were to make this zero and this zero and I'll go ahead and do it now just to show you guys um, and we do our HUD reload scheme then we bust out our, our VGUI tree. And I don't even need to use the tree to show you guys. You can see the health is in the top left corner, right? Um, and we're, let's find it. HUD weapon ammo. There we go. See, you can you can tell easily that, uh, you know, it's in the top left-hand corner. Well, the R value basically flips that around. It says, okay, well, if the top left corner um, is 0, 0 with the default values, then 0, 0 with the reverse values w should obviously be the lower right-hand corner. And that's why when we look at these default positioning values, um, they're actually, they actually are really close to the uh, lower right-hand side of the screen, which is why the health is down there. So again, like the normal static, um, the normal static uh, numerical values with nothing in front of them, it does have its, its practical uses, but for what we're doing, um, it, it doesn't so much. So again, we're going to refer to our C values because they are our friends. And um, just as a good rule of thumb, if you want to perfectly center your, your, your ammo panel from your health panel, then uh, you can first change the size. And again, this isn't entirely necessary, but I'm doing this because I want the ammo to be exactly on, on the right place on the screen, that it matches up perfectly with the health. And that's just the inner OCD in me. You don't necessarily have to do that. Like, like messing with the wide and tall values is not required at all. Um, and if it is, we'll 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 fix that as it comes to us. But I guess by adjusting the the wide and tall values now kind of helps you future proof. So we changed wide to 250, tall to 120, and then let's see. So if this had a a wide position of C150, then We'll go ahead and make the ammo on the right-hand side of the screen have an X position of a positive 275, which will be essentially the exact same thing as if it were on the left. However, it will be on the right. And so we'll save this. We'll do our HUD reload scheme. And let's take a look and see what this looks like. It m we might want to adjust it further. So again, a good way to check your panel is to always look at the tree here. Go to your HUD weapon ammo. Yeah, see, that's that's going off the screen. That's that's not cutting it for us. So I guess, uh, actually, since our wide value is 250, we don't need it to be 275 because it's a little too, too far. So we'll actually let's try 125. That should be good, right? And um, oh, all right. So we'll go ahead and do our HUD element uh, reload scheme thingy, and we'll check the tree. But we're getting pretty close to being done for the time being, guys. Um, hopefully the map doesn't change. I'll wait for the new round to begin. And boom, we've got our health here. Our frame's good right where we want it. We'll check the ammo. We've got our ammo here. That's good, right where we want it. And um, in the next video, I guess we'll, we'll go over like the initial tweaks. We'll begin the, the process of, of replacing fonts and, and uh, you know getting rid of stuff you don't want to be on there or adding things in that you might want to be there. Um, but I guess until uh, next time, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you... Learned a thing or two. Appreciate it.